welcome back to the channel everybody in my review of CarPro Darkside new uh, tire trim rubber coating from CarPro now I've got Pearl right next to it because uh, a lot of people have been asking well, what's the difference between Darkside and Pearl uh, and this is Pearl I'm cut one to one so I can spray it um, doesn't affect the gloss at all but Pearl is water based Darkside I believe is a solvent based um, a lot like the uh, the blue dressings that some of you may know and love um, I'll grab a couple examples right here of solvent based dressings I've got a uh, 3d magic blue dressing and you can tell it's solvent based because it kind of feels oily um, where pearl it looks watery when you apply it um, so yeah this is a 3d magic blue dressing uh, turtle wax hybrid solutions graphene acrylic tire coating tire shine spray coating they call it and Adams graphene tire dressing these are all solvent based products um, I prefer solvent based for tire shine because it lasts longer water based especially when it rains it'll 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 wash away and pearl does that pearl does look great but you know when it rains um, it washes away and it doesn't it lasts about a week or so anyways um, I did compare these side by side in the tire I'll be going over application as well uh, so you guys can see the uh, you know how it looks and everything now, um, CarPro says that uh, this stuff is uh, water resistant, hydrophobic, see, highly hydrophobic, uh, so it'll reject water and it'll stay on the tires for a while. So what I would compare that to that I've been using lately is uh, the Hybrid Solutions Graphene Acrylic Tire Shine Spray Coating, it's a mouthful, and Adams Graphene Tire Dressing. These both last on the tire for a while. Now, the shine does wear away after a week or so, but the tires stay nice and black and dark. They don't start to look faded and dull. Uh, like you get with water base. So that's what I'm expecting from this. Um, if you're watching this at a later date and you want to know how it's holding up, just uh, let me know. It's, it's, go it's gone on my wife's car. It's going on my personal car as well. My wife drives a lot more than I do and I keep my car in the garage. Hers stays outside. So I'll see how it is on both vehicles. Um, anyways, just a quick look at dark side. So that's the front. Three plus months of durability. UV resistant. Highly concentrated. You cannot dilute this with water, by the way. Um, but there's the instructions there. Clean and dry tires, which I've already done. Uh, squirt dark side two to three times in a tire applicator or CarPro, CarPro microfiber applicator. Apply evenly over the tire wall. Avoid water contact and allow to dry for one to two hours. So it hasn't been on the car for one to two hours yet. So I'm not going to water test it. Um, I think it's kind of strange to water test tire dressings anyways. Appearance is what's most important than longevity. And again, just comment down below and ask me about the longevity if you're watching this at a later date. So, we're going to go over application first, and then I'll show you how it is side by side with Pearl. So, um, I like to use these applicators. These are just uh, hex grip applicators. I like to write with a silver sharpie what it's for because I have different dressings. You can hold them well. Uh, they're very durable. They don't rip apart like most foam applicators. Um, you may recognize these if you use Adams polishes, uh, that they have their own branded version of these, but you can just go on Amazon and buy big packs of these. And I'll put a link below if you're interested, but these things are great for applying tire dressings. So let's get over to a tire and I will show you how to apply it. All right, so here's the front tire on my Kia Stinger. Um, I did clean this well. It had turtle wax tire shine on it for a long time. It's all gone. Still got some residue on there though, but you know, what are you gonna do? I, I scrub the crap out of these, but they don't always come completely clean. These tires are a bit of a pain. These are a Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. Um, because of the rubber compound, they're a bit tougher to clean than others, but they are clean clean enough to apply dressing anyways. So I've already primed this, so if it's your if it's a fresh applicator, you're gonna want to make sure it gets a nice layer of your uh, dressing on there. Uh, but anyways, it's this uh, little pump, this is a little pump applicator that it comes with. I kind of, I might switch it out to a spray trigger, um, but we'll just do this because uh, for the video's sake. So, that should be enough for this tire. A lot of it got towards the middle, but that's all right. And then you just simply apply it. You can see instantly how nice that's making the tire look. Give it a nice deep gloss, nice black rich look. All right, it applies that easily. And then what I like to do, you don't have to do this. Um, this is just what I like to do to make sure nothing slings, 
is I'll take a cheap microfiber towel and I, I have a whole pack of these super cheap crappy towels. I don't use them for anything else. Uh, these are basically throwaway towels. So I'll go over it just to wipe off the excess so I don't get any sling. This is how you prevent slinging all over your paint. You just wipe up all the excess and you still get that nice rich look of the stuff that's absorbed into the rubber and it also uh, spreads it evenly. So there you go, you got that nice deep rich look to your rubber and uh, this applies on trim as well, you know, rubber trim and such. Uh, I don't have any rubber trim to really test it on, but uh, you'll have to experience it or experiment with it yourself once it comes out, of course. Now, let me go over to my wife's car. It has your kind of standard car tires, so you can taste see how all that looks. All right, so here's how it looks on a normal, standard uh, type of car tire. Got a really nice, glossy, even look all around. Um, I did wipe this off with a microfiber, so you can see that gloss still stays, but it is a really, really glossy look. I expect that to stay like that for about a week or so before it starts to wear off, but you should still be left with a nice black uh, rubbery look. Now if we go over to the other tire, this tire I did the left half with dark side and the right half with pearl. So you can see dark side applies very evenly, it kind of levels itself out. Pearl, because it's water based, uh, can be a little bit finicky. Still looks nice, more of a satin look versus a gloss in my opinion. Um, yeah, pearl on this side, dark side on that. So that's how you can see really how it looks. But again, pearl will wash away when it rains. Doesn't last very long. Dark side should last a lot longer. Anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this stuff. Let's go in for the final thoughts of it. All right, so CarPro Dark Side. Um, I mean, I like it. I definitely like it. It's a great uh, solvent-based option. Uh, if it has the longevity that it claims, then it's definitely going to be my new favorite. Um, like I said, I've been using this a lot lately. Um, this is a pretty great value. Um, and then on other cars, the bigger tires, I've been using them. I'm just trying to use this stuff up. This stuff's pretty good too, but I like the turtle wax better. Um, but dark side, I'll be uh, doing some long-term testing on. So once again, just comment below if you have any questions about it, especially if you're watching at a later date. Um, we're going to see how this stuff holds up. But um, right now, I know it's not, it's not out yet as of the day of this recording. I did get this sent this early from CarPro, so thank you for that. Um, if you're in the United States, it should be available on Sky Car Care. Uh, yeah, Sky Car Care at carpro-us.com. It'll be available there first, two weeks before anyone else in the U.S. gets it. Other countries, check with your uh, CarPro resellers and see you know when they plan on having it available. Because I, I can't answer that question for you. Um, but let me know what you think about it. Comment down below with your thoughts. Let me know if you like it. Um, let me know if there's something else you like. Uh, you know, whatever it is. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you all. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys, keep them clean. Have a good one.